big thank you to the guys at We Are Stoke for sponsoring my match day vlogs throughout the season. For the latest Stoke City news, be sure to check them out on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Links in the description. Hey up guys, Harvey Access here and welcome to my Euro 2020 predictions. A slightly different setup today, that's because I'm actually recording through my laptop. Uh, but we are going to be doing the my Euro 2020 predictions. I am running a fantasy football league for this summer's Euros as well. Uh, the link to that will be in the description and the code will be on the screen right now. Uh, so get yourself in um, and see how well you can do. So we're going to be using the UEFA predictor um, for this one. This one, um, you do all the group stage and then it determines the round of 16 and the round of 16 draws from there. So we're going to be using that one. So we're going to be getting started. We're going to go for Group A, first of all, with Switzerland, Turkey, Wales and Italy in there. Now, a lot of people are saying that Turkey and Italy both will be dark horses in this tournament. But then obviously you've got the Welsh, who are quite a well-organised side. You know, they've got some great players like Joe Allen. Um, and then obviously Switzerland have got Jordan Shakiri. Um Group A, I'm probably going to go for Italy to win that group uh, ahead of Turkey. I don't think Turkey will advance. Um, Switzerland, they've got some decent players, uh, good individuals, but I don't think they're as good as a team. And then I'm going to go for Wales as a third uh, the third place team because you've got to back your home nations, haven't you? You've got to back your home nations for the Euros. Group B, I think this one's quite obvious. I think Belgium are going to come home in first and then I think Finland will be uh, becoming fourth in the group then it's really a bit of a flip of a coin between Russia and Denmark Russia have got some great players like Cheryshev uh, I think they're just going to get into second over Denmark obviously Denmark have got some superb players themselves like Christian Eriksen but I think Russia will get through ahead of Denmark Group C is going to be an interesting one because Austria have got some good players themselves, but the the Dutch have got some fantastic players, obviously, like Memphis Depay, who's been outstanding in the league in this season. So I think that one sort of works itself out. Uh, Ukraine, I don't really back Ukraine to do anything. And it's sort of between North Macedonia and Austria. I think Austria will come second. They've got some good players. But I'm actually going to swap North Macedonia and Ukraine, actually. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to go for. Netherlands in first, Austria in second, Ukraine in third, North Macedonia fourth. We're going to wait until we do England's group. Um, but next, we're going to jump to group E. I'm going to go Spain to win the group. I'm going to go Slovakia to finish bottom. Hmm. So this one's an interesting one because Sweden... They've got some decent players. You know, they've got Forsberg. Um, he can be all right. These obviously, I think Sweden beat the Germans in uh, the World Cup uh, a couple of years ago. But I think Poland, I think it's going to be really interesting to see how this group pans out because I think with the top three, it could literally be anyone's game. Um, I, I think that's what I'm going to sit with. I'm going to sit with that one. Next up is... Uh, has been dubbed the group of death. So that one sorts itself out. Uh, and then I think the teams really just filter in from there. I think France are going to win the group. Uh, I think they sort of, uh, they're, I think they're most people's favourites for the tournament. Um, Germany, very, very well organised defence. Um, it just depends. You know, they, they have got some lightning pace and attack as well. So do France and Portugal. I think Hungary are going to struggle to score a goal throughout the tournament. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much what we're going to be working with with that one. Uh, and then obviously, we're going back onto England's group, Group D. Um, hmm. The thing is with England's group, I think we can sort of write out the bottom two. But I think it all comes down to Sunday's opener uh, between England and Croatia. I think England will breeze past Scotland and Czech Republic and so will Croatia. So I do think the group pretty much will be determined based on the first day. England, if 
England come second, they technically have the easier round of 16 tie. I think they'll be playing uh, the winner out of Spain's group, the winner out of Group E. Then obviously you're sort of going to be playing against France in the round of uh, in the quarters. So I think if England win the group and then come second, I think England have the attack. Um, to do it, I think we don't, don't get me wrong, we've got some superb attacking talent. It all comes down to Sunday, I think. I mean, Croatia, they're very, very well organised themselves. Obviously, they did beat us in 2018. However, England got their own back a couple of mo uh, months later. So it's going to be very interesting, that group on Sunday, and I'm very much looking forward to it. So we're going to now predict the best of the third place teams. Oh, uh, let's go... See, the thing is with Portugal, it all comes down if, to if they can either draw or against France or Germany, if they're going to come third. Do I think they're going to do that? I think I do think France and Germany will beat po uh, Portugal and they'll beat um, Hungary as well. Um, so I'm probably going to back Wales, Denmark. I think Scotland will beat Czech Republic. And who's in Sweden's group? Slovakia. They might snap to draw against Poland. So I'm going to go Ukraine to advance. Uh, mm. I mean, I'm all in an R in now. Mm. I think North Macedonia and Ukraine will draw, actually. So I'm going to sneak Portugal through. Uh, right, let's have a look at what that gives us for the knockouts. Belgium against Scotland is the next, it's the first round of 16 tie. I think there's only going to be one winner for that one. Uh, where is it? It's in Seville. So, uh, yeah, Belgium will get through in that one. Italy and Austria, I think it'll be Italy that come through in that one. France and Denmark, probably France that will get through in that one. Uh, oh, Croatia and Poland, two very, it's going to be a tricky one to determine. However, I'm going to go for Croatia to sneak through in it. And there'll be a repeat of the 2018 World Cup final in the quarterfinals. Spain versus Wales. I'm going to have to back the Spaniards for that one. Uh, sorry, Joe Allen and half of the rest of the Stoke squad. Um, if the England against Germany. Oh, I'd probably back us against the Germans. Germans, Germany have got a very, very good defence. However, they do have some lightning pace up front. England have um, a very good attacking squad. Depends if we actually play to our attacking strengths. I'm going to go England over that one. Netherlands versus Portugal. I'm going to go Portugal for that one. And Turkey against Russia. I'm going to go with the Turkey. Next up is the quarter finals. Belgium have got a star-studded team, but they're, they're sort of good individuals, but not good as a team. Whereas the Italians are a very, very well-oiled outfit. So I'm probably going to back the Italians in that one. France-Croatia, I think it's France's to lose that one. Croatia are going to very much struggle against the French in that one. Spain versus, Italy, uh, Spain versus England, sorry. I'm going to go England for that one. I don't think Spain are what they used to be. Uh, Spain, you know, talking 10 years ago, they were um, very feared when you faced them in international competition, but not this time. Um, I think England will comfortably get past them. Uh, Portugal versus Turkey. It's a tough one. I'm going to back Portugal to go through. I think they're just going to have enough. You know, they've got Ruben Dias in defence, and then they've obviously got... Ronaldo, Fernandes, João Felix, to name a few up front as well. So I think then they will be the semi-finals. Semi-final one is going to be played at Wembley. The French against the Italians. I th again, like I've said with France, you know their team is honestly amazing. You know they the, the pick the team based on the strengths uh, and. Those strengths will help them to get to the final. Now, the other semi-final, I want to say it's at Wembley as well. It is England against Portugal. I think the teams that England are going to struggle against most this tournament are going to be Portugal and France. And 
if we advance from the if we advance into the semis, then um, England and Portugal will be playing as well as France in the final. Oh, it's a tough one. However, you know what? I'm going to back England. You know, I think they've got potential to do it. Um, you know, like I've just said, we've got great attack. Uh, that'll be a, a very, very interesting game, though. It, it possibly could go the distance to penalties, but uh, you know what? I'm going to back Harry Kane to do the business in the 90. And then the final, France versus England at Wembley. It'll be a raucous atmosphere, no doubt. France are different gravy this tournament. You know, the world champions... Obviously, the runners-up from the previous European Championships as well. England are going to look to go one better than the um, 2018 World Cup and obviously massively improve on the previous Euros in 2016. I'm going to have to go with France. I think it will be France that win the European Championships this summer. I'd love it have been to be England. Um, you know, it'd just be so uh, magical uh, if England did bring it home. Um, but I think France are just a different uh, kettle of fish in terms of this tournament. The, their team, you know, they've got Pogba, Kante uh, in midfield that are going to be pulling the strings. They've got some great defenders as well. Varane, uh, Lucas Hernandez, I think, is in the team as well. Not meant. I think, is it Lucas Hernandez, the left-back? I think he's in this side as well. And then obviously we've got Lloris in goal, who's got uh, plenty of experience and pedigree. And not to mention their star studded attack, Kylian Mbappe, Anton Griezmann, uh, another player who does really well at major tournaments. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, smash the like down below, subscribe if you are new around here. Let me know again your thoughts on the predictions and who you think is going to win the Euros this summer. And uh, yeah, hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Come on, England!